Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to look at 1995 Woody and Buzz and compare him with 2009 Woody and Buzz, let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, most of my views come from non-subscribers, so please consider subscribing today, hit that alert so you'll be notified for future videos. It helps me as I'm on my way to 100,000 subs this year. Really appreciate it. Hey partners, really excited to be with you today to do the comparison review. Something I've never really seen um, before, so I kind of wanted to do my own version of this. Basically, Thinkway Toys in 1995 released this Woody and Buzz. And then in 2009, we got the film accurate inspired replicas by Thinkway Toys. So John Lasseter had said, we could do better. I kept thinking of him and thinking about the Toy Story toys that are out there and said, we can do better. We can do better. So this was their better. So we're gonna take a look at what the company Thinkway Toys did over 14 years to make changes to Woody and Buzz. I'm gonna start the comparison review with Woody first and then Buzz Lightyear. So let's get into the comparison review. Well, first we're gonna take a look at the boxes. As you can tell, 1995 Woody was a lot taller and skinnier of a box. And later in 2009, John Lasseter had given us this wider and shorter, more square rectangle box. Because apparently he said that's what Andy's dad would have bought him in the store like back in the day. The packaging would look like this. Although, I don't know, there's something about the retro one that I like that looks, I don't know, a little bit more 50s to me than what we got in 2009. But there's still really great box art packaging. And it's interesting that they went with a more cartoon or animated Woody than what we normally would see like from a movie still right here on this packaging. But yeah, the bed is cool to have. And then here it's just more of a Western wooden theme. So I don't know if I like one over, better over the other, but it's just really interesting to see the differences of what they did 1995 versus 2009. Now on the Thinkway box in 2009, he has 50 sayings, which is crazy. He's also an interactive toy. So he does talk and reacts to external noise. And obviously this one, not as sophisticated, 1995 Woody only had five phrases. So they definitely made a giant leap in technology from five phrases to over 50. Now on the side of the box, I do like both of them. Uh, having Talking Woody with the clouds is cool. I do admit, I enjoy the Woody's Roundup logo a little better. I think that's cooler. Um, but I really love that portrait of Woody from Toy Story 1. It says Sheriff. So they're both really cool. They're just very, very different from what they did back then to now. Back of the box is obviously very different. It's nice to have a summary of Woody and Buzz here, really long ones. Uh, so that's interesting here, we don't have that. It's all about Woody um, being a collector's item, collector's edition with holster, pull string, 50 saying, certificate of authenticity, something we didn't get before. But it's, it's pretty similar with the voice box instruction. Definitely more legal disclaimer stuff information because back in the day it was very simple and then in the future it got really complicated here's 1995 woody versus 2009 woody wow what a huge difference in design sculpt size i'm glad they did an updated version because this definitely looks more like woody from the movie in a live mode obviously not toy mode but nonetheless they did make some huge improvements and right away you can notice that the original first wave posable 1995 Woody could stand on his own. He has wires in his legs, in his arms, and he doesn't need a stand. He could stand on his own. And I think that's probably the coolest thing about what Thinkway did back then. I wish that we had that option with this one, although we know in the movie he is a ragdoll body and he doesn't have wires, but it's a cool gimmick. And I wish they could have released maybe a wired version of this so we could have both the ragdoll and a wired version just like we did in 95 because I think that's a really cool feature. So we'll start with the hats here, 1995 versus 2009. This is actually a softer uh, plastic. This one is a little more stiff than this one, um, but they both are pretty much similar in size. I would say maybe the collection one from 2009 is a little bit smaller. What I like about this hat is even though it's not a vinyl thread, at least we get thread in there. So we could mod it and put vinyl stitching. On this 95 one, it's not, it's just one molded plastic. So you couldn't really mod this. 
So collection version did add Disney Pixar on the bottom of the hat then putting Disney on the outside of the hat where you do see it. So that definitely is something they improved with the collection hat, I feel. There is more textured layering here and looks more like a leather hat, which I do appreciate this detail. Here we kind of lost those details in the future. It's just more of a flat. This one looks more like a leather cowboy hat. So I kind of like the look of this a little bit better too. Very interesting. Looking at the head sculpts, they both nailed the rosy cheeks thing from the 2009 Wave 1 Woody and the Wave 1 Think Wave Woody from 95. I really like the rosy cheeks. Um, the eyelids closing is a little bit strange to me. Um, it makes him more iconic for what they released back then, but I don't know if that was a good choice. Also, the eyebrows being raised really high and low. It's, it's fun and it's more cartoony, but I think this was a, an improved expression because Woody looks more naturalistic in his smile and obviously the smile too you can kind of see it's open and here it's just teeth so this one definitely reminds me more of a cartoon version of Woody this one actually reminds me more of Woody from the movie which was the goal for them and I think that's when John Lasseter said we could do better this was their better and I agree it's it's definitely miles better from 95 Woody in many ways the smiles look more natural on 2009 and it looks a little more cartoon there. Now I do appreciate the hairline details here on the collection version. They did a great job on that. Um, something definitely missing from the 95 Woody was those hairlines. So they definitely improved that. Also Woody has less of a neck here. He has more of a neck right there. Um, you can just tell on his chin's very, very big and pointy and lower um, there than what they did in 2009 so they definitely improved Woody's head sculpt 100% but you know it's it's classic 95 Woody. Looking at the bandana differences this is more of a burgundy red deep dark red color and the bandana on 2009 collection version is a bright red um, also the pattern looks a little different it's a lot simpler here uh, and then this one the pattern's a little bit more it just has more lines and pattern on it so they added more of the white striping around the dot there and then here is just like four li white lines so that's really interesting difference to see i like what they did in 2009 they made it look more gold and here it's kind of more bronzy looking more like the disney store colors that we're used to seeing all the time also they texturized this on the corners it's a little more 3d this one's a little more flat feeling so they did improve the sheriff badge a lot the vest is a huge improvement, although I do complain about this being too long on him. Um, at least it fits him better. This one is way too uh, short. I think the vest should come up closer to his buttons. There's a big gap here in his shirt, and I think it should be closer to his buttons there. So that's something different. Um, this is this one had come loose over time, but I really like the attempt of Thinkway Toys. Obviously, the Brazil Woody was the best. For the vest and it even added a cord it looks like a cord here um, for texture like the movie we have that corded look and then here it's more flat not a cord it's just flat print an illusion of one this one actually feels and looks like it has that raised cord this is where thinkway toys went backwards this is a better size pull string ring this is way too big of a pull string ring so they got it right in 95. this is not doing better but I do understand that they said it could have been a choking hazard. So they did make these bigger like this size because they didn't want kids to cut them with scissors or swallow them or something. I'm not really sure, but I know that was a safety concern. Um, so that's why eventually they got rid of the small one and big ones were the standard. And just look how much skinnier his torso is and his arms. He's really fat <laughs> and wide and thick. And I think Woody from the movie you know, he wasn't as thick looking. He was a little like more proportionate here. So this is way better. So this one's a little faded and the pattern's a little big. And then I think this looks more like the movie. Skinnier lines and smaller squares. I think that looks more like the movie. Let me know what you think about those changes from 95 to 2009. Also the buttons, if we look at the buttons, somebody noted that this was raised to the lip of the silver lining was raised like the movie. This one is not, it's more, uh, it just, I don't know. It's just more recessed in shape. This one's more pronounced and the silver lining is kind of engulfing the white button. So I don't know. Which one, which buttons do you think are better? Do you think the 95 ones are more like the movie? I think this is truer to Toy Story 1, Woody, 
and these are maybe truer to like later versions of Woody. Not really sure, but that's really interesting. So looking at the belt buckles, I think they did a great job on the 2009 edition. Way more details, there's a lot of lacking details. I do like that it's 3D, but this has more detail in the actual buckle. I think it's a little bit better texturized and just way more details were added to it um, compared to the simplistic design from 95. So they did do better there. Now let's look at the holsters. Um, definitely big improvements. Thinkway Toys did make it uh, so it swivels. It's not loose, but you can definitely mod and loosen these. I just haven't done that on this one because I don't want to mod this one, but it has it able to swing. This one doesn't swing. <laughs> it has the illusion that it could. It has like a little button there, uh, but it's to snap it in place. So there's no rotation. So I really like that Thinkway Toys were able to rotate the holster. That is a nice detail difference. So we could have that. Also, the proportions are better. I like that the ru fake ruby is bigger, the ring is better. I wish it would have been more movie accurate yellow, but they never were. So if you look at the old one, it's the same colors. It's just, this one's just lacking in details. It's not as 3D popping out there. This one definitely is 3D, thicker, more proportionate. And I think the shape is overall better than uh, what we got in 1995. So I really appreciate those details and they definitely did better on the holster in the future. I think that looks awesome. Looking at the jeans, huge difference in the jeans. Um, he has a wider thigh gap here. It's a lot more proportionate like the movie here, skinnier torso. Um, it's just a very weird pelvic region. Here it's more balanced and stuffed like cotton, like a rag doll. Just makes more sense. Uh, these are real denim jeans. The first wave of 2009 were real denim. So it feels like real jeans, because they are. And these are printed on. It just feels like cheaper fabric filled with cotton, which is not a bad thing. It's just, I'm so glad they improved it here. I think Wayne Toys did amazing with the Wave 1 Woody in 2009 compared to what they gave us in 95. Um, the jeans are more consistent with the coloring of Toy Story 1 Woody, I feel like. They were lighter this way, but I don't mind. These jeans are not too dark either. I think Wayne Toys, they did a good job. They actually gave them pockets, although it's a thinner material. It's not real jean fabric. At least there's real pockets back here. Even in the 2009 cloud, he also had real pockets in his denim jeans. So definitely they did a good job with the detail of the cloud one, having the thread there when it was lost here in the 95. Now this is where John messed up. We can do better. We can do better. We could do better. Why didn't you do better then, John? Huh? What'd you do? So we got an amazing sculpt. It almost looks like it's hand sculpted from clay. Obviously it's plastic molded, but... Wow, we got a palm detail in there. The, the fingers are separated like the movie when we see him in waving goodbye to Andy. He has open hands and fingers that kind of look natural. And it's I really like the sculpt details of the knuckles even. They did a great job on these open hands. And in 2009, you'd think you, they'd improve that, but they went backwards. They gave us a closed hand, which is not like the movie. And we're missing a lot of those details that we see on the hands here in 1995. Um, I don't know. There's just more texture and knuckle. It looks more like a real hand. This one looks more like a doll hand. Um, so yeah, they definitely missed the mark on that. This looks more like Woody's hand in the movie, open-handed in toy mode. And this one is... Come on. Why didn't we get an open hand in the future? I think Thinkway improved the cactus detail for sure. I really like the way it looks here. Um, also, just some more aesthetics here on the boot design is really nice and textured down here. Uh, really nice. This one's a little more simple in design. This one's a little more complex. Um, the boot's a little taller, but I think that's because 95 Woody is a taller doll. He's slightly taller. The Spurs detail looks pretty much the same. It almost looks like the same exact gold color. So that's pretty much the same there that I'm noticing. So one thing people overlook is that I think we improved the little holes here on the boot straps. Uh, to, you know, and I think that's a nice little detail. And then obviously 95 Woody doesn't have that. These boots are very similar, but definitely I feel like the 2009 edition improved the color, the texture, the details of the cactus. It just looks better on 2009. And in case you're curious, the bottom of the boot, that is a difference. It's more of a gloss. This is more of a matte. Kind of like that this is more rubbery, like a real leather boot. Because I think Woody in the movie had a leather boot. So it's a little squishy like that. This one's just a firm, hard plastic. But I really like 
the coloring of this. I wish I could make a version in between these two that would complement it. So it would be shaped more like this, but this texture and maybe a brown color in between these two. Looking at the bottom and going up for the size comparison, it looks like Woody is taller on 95, which I think this is more movie accurate scale. He's just slightly taller there, towering with his head and hat. So not too much taller, but definitely a big height difference. So the last test for these two would be the voice box. First, we're gonna listen to Jim Hanks' voice from So as you can hear for yourself, it sounds like Jim Hanks was kind of high-pitched and rushed um, and younger, and Jim Hanks matured, and his voice sounds more real to the film, slowed down, louder. The voice box is quieter in him, and these are new batteries in both, so this is quieter, and now the 2009 edition, they improved the sound. Obviously, he's miles better with the sound because the sound's just more professional sounding, um, 50 pull string sayings, he interacts when he hears noises with you. He has a play me mode, a try me mode, a toy mode. So with the voices, he's very advanced, very technologically advanced. 95, we just literally got like a few phrases and that's it, <laughs> you know, but they're both Jim Hanks. So that was interesting to hear the difference between what happened in 95 to what we got later in 2009. Next, we're going to look at Buzz Lightyear. Both these boxes bring a lot of nostalgia for fans who have owned a 95 or a 2009 Buzz. Now, obviously the winner here for the box will be 2009 because although it's not 100% movie accurate, it definitely looks more like the spaceship box that we see in the movie. And it even has the rocket boosters on the bottom. So as you see, it's more like the film. And also has the pop-out wings, which I love what Thinkway Toys did with the wings. These are both great boxes, and I just really, obviously, because of this movie-accurate phrase on the back that we see in Toy Story 1 when Woody reads um, the description and Buzz is reciting that to the toys when he meets them, it's nice to have that uh, saying. And although this is not movie-accurate, it's, it's better, and it's a better attempt, and so I do appreciate the box for 2009 Thinkway Toys, but this is still very nostalgic and very classic to the first Toy Story movie as well, just because it's the first Buzz people ever bought. 1995 Buzz Lightyear and 2009 Think We Toys Buzz Lightyear. Off the bat, right away, I can be like, wow, that is a huge improvement on their first attempt. And, uh, you know, a lot can happen over the years, and 14 years was a good time frame for them to step up their game. We can do better. We can do better. Although this is not perfectly movie accurate, it's definitely miles closer to the movie than this one. But my chief complaint is the movie accurate green color. Thinkway Toys went backwards and that is farther from the movie color than that green. This green is way closer to what we see on film for Buzz. So I wish Thinkway Toys would have kept that mint green and they went more towards a darker forest green, which is wrong. Here's a side view of 95 Buzz and 2009 Buzz. Here's a back view of Buzz, so you can see the jetpack is actually higher here, which I like. It's lowered here. Here we have the danger, you know, jet exhaust sticker decals, and we don't have them here. Yeah, all the screw holes, that was a huge improvement. Good job, Thinkway. That fixed it a lot better because it looks more like the movie like this. Here's the other side, and you can just kind of see how much wider Buzz is. They made him a lot wider, which I think is truer to the film. He has a big chest that's pronounced, and I think that looks good. The proportions needed work here, I can tell. Also, his wings are folded and tucked away. Here, they're just kind of like the edge of the wings. So this is definitely a huge improvement on the jetpack and the wings. So looking at the face sculpts, obviously a huge improvement. Uh, 2009 looks way better. It looks more like... Um, Buzz Lightyear from the film. I think using the digital Pixar data really paid off because you can see this was like a tenth of what it 
they thought it looked like in the film. This one looks like very uh, movie accurate to buzz in a live mode. Both buzzes are missing the mark on the toy mode, but this definitely looks more like the movie. The way his chin is shaped, his nose, his eyes, his eyebrows, the purple colors more accurate on 2009. But I agree that Thinkway Toys did a fantastic, better job with the fetish sculpt, of course. Really good. But the helmets are basically the same. They, uh, they close and open the same. So I wish Thinkway Toys would have improved that. Like in Disney Store, you can press the side of the button and he does like that whoosh thing. This one doesn't have it, but that would have been awesome. They should have added like the Disney Store button here on the side and at least he can do the whoosh thing. That would have been better. Now look at the beautiful detail of the Space Ranger sticker, the Lightyear Space Ranger sticker here, the laser decal. Here it's not, it's too dark, the color blue. I don't like that. Although the rocket detail is nice. Um, here I feel like they didn't improve the stickers yet. The logo looks, it's not outlined in black, kind of like what we saw here with the black outline. I think it looks worse there. Um, obviously this chest piece right here is very pivotal to Buzz Lightyear. And I feel like we had the Space Ranger there in the movie. It looks way better than that. Um, and then the laser sticker as well. Just not as highly detailed as the other one. Um, I think they definitely could have improved it. This one looks a little bit more, I don't know, it's too small and not spaced out. Kind of like how this one's more pronounced, laser. Now the laser button here I like because it's bigger on him and I think it's too small of a button. Um, so they missed the mark I feel like on that. The buttons themselves didn't change too much here with the blue, uh, green, and red except the lighter blue. It's too dark there. Also what I like about 2009 is the laser uh, light is bigger so it can blink brighter and here it's really tiny and I think they could I'm glad they improved that so that's a huge improvement on 2009 now one thing I don't like is Disney Store does this to this day it's hard plastic and it's just kind of too shiny here on 2009 we have a real like rubber feel although it might be like a vinyl or plastic uh, it feels like rubber and there's the illusion of rubber it's not too glossy it's kind of matte so I really like that it's squishy and it feels like a rubbery material because I think that's a lot truer to the film and this is less accurate. So I like that Thinkway Toys made a huge improvement to the rubbery uh, midline section. That is a huge improvement. I love that. Now the green is way better here on 95, more like the movie. It's too dark here. Um, and then the purple color, I like that it's brighter on 2009. I think that looks more like the movie. The purple's too dark. It almost looks like a royal blue um, here, even in person. More royal blue, and less purple, and more like a blue purple. And this one's like a true purple. So good job to Thinkway Toys for improving that uh, color for the green was better here, but the purple was better here. So if only they would have just transferred this green over to this one, we would have had the perfect buzz, I feel. I'm so happy Thinkway Toys fixed this because as you can tell, the wingspan, this is the max that goes on 95 way wider, way more film accurate on the cloud edition, especially in 2009, the wings were straighter. As you can see, it's miles difference on how far it pops out, which is really nice. So you can just see how much straighter the wings are in 2009 edition. They are a lot longer, they're a lot straighter. This is my favorite Buzz cloud pattern because of that. I think later editions, the wings got a little droopy. Um, so yeah, they huge improvement. The lines are also thicker and spaced out better, like the movie. Here they're too thin and close together. So 95 definitely missed the mark on the wings. And I'm so glad Thinkway Toys gave us something a lot better, closer to the movie. And the wings are even a little translucent, uh, which is nice here. They're just a solid, thick plastic. One of my favorite things about the wings that they updated was it actually lights up. I am Buzz Lightyear. Now this is something crazy to see, just how much bigger and wider those wingspan it really is it's a huge difference miles difference and that's why i'm so glad they improved that in 2009 buzz lightyear i think it looks amazing he has a wrist communicator that opens uh, when it's on mode he does make a sound like a little beeping sound when it opens which is nice you can close it back open it as many times as you want 95 buzz unfortunately doesn't have that um, in later waves i heard there was a special edition buzz that did do that in the 96 or 95 not sure this one doesn't, so I'm glad Thinkway Toys improved that and gave us a wrist communicator because that was a pivotal part of Toy Story movies, so that was really nice. Also, um, they did improve the hands because 
Now he has green color and purple details on the tips of his fingers. They are separated here on his fingers. Um, so you can do that articulation, which is really nice. But here, um, only one finger is loose, which is the first one. So they did a huge improvement. Um, I wish they did ball joints. Obviously, they didn't improve that part here on Buzz. But, you know, at least they gave us some more color details, like the purple detail. Um, finger, individual finger articulation, which is really nice to have. And uh, we only got one here. So, yeah, definitely huge differences and upgrades. Uh, so I, I am appreciative of Thinkway Toys of at least upgrading the hands on Buzz Lightyear. They went forward with Buzz, but backwards with Woody. I don't know why the heck that was. We can do better. We can do better. On the original 95 Buzz, he has three click joints. One, two, and three. One, two, three as well. Uh, so he is a little limited there, but at least we have a click joint. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six click joints. And here it's three as well. One, yeah, one, two, three. So he has three on the bottom, which didn't change, but six articulated click joints. So it's better for posability and standing in different positions. So I appreciate Thinkway Toys for adding better click joints there on the knees. So it looks a lot better and just aesthetically more pleasing. I think this is too wide. This is a lot thinner, so it's better. Now, what do you think of the laser sounds? Do you think this is more like the movie or this is more like the movie? Here's the 2009 laser sound. As you can tell, there's a lot of people who say 1995 laser sound is better. This one, I will admit, doesn't sound exactly like the movie, but I do like the aesthetic changes they did, like the bigger button, the better decal, brighter bulb. I think this is shinier and brighter, the red light. So I don't know. You let me know in the comment section below. Do you like 95 laser sound better or 2009 laser sound better? Obviously, they're both voiced by Tim Allen. And um, I think they obviously made a huge uh, upgrade with 2009. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. I am Buzz Lightyear. So as you can hear, he has a toy mode and more in a live mode. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. To infinity and beyond. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. This buzz actually has over 65 phrases, even more than Woody, which was 50. And the old editions only had like five phrases, and that's about it. But that's fine. The technology, like we said, has come a long way. This buzz obviously sounds better to me, but this is going to be your retro nostalgia childhood sounds, so you can't really replace childhood memories. And this is my most favorite part about owning a 2009 Cloud Pattern buzz, is he does this. <laughs> Well, partners, it's that time again. Thank you so much for enjoying this throwback comparison and review between 1995 Woody and Buzz and 2009 Woody and Buzz. Really excited. This channel is about to hit 75,000 subscribers. We can do better. We can do better. And I'm going to do a Woody movie accurate voice box giveaway so you do not want to miss out. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.